Hello everyone and welcome back to AR76, my name is Alex and welcome to another episode of my Formula 1 Championship Edition career. We are here for the German Grand Prix at the Hockenheim Ring, which Honda won last season! Uh, yeah, that, that shocked me a little bit that Honda won the French Grand Prix, but uh, not the uh, French Grand Prix, the uh, German Grand Prix. So Jensen Button securing the first win of his F1 career in uh, Hockenheim. Yeah, this in alternate F1 history is getting a little bit weird, but I'm enjoying it. <laughs> it's great. For sh I had a watch back at the first episode from uh, the first race, sorry, from last season, which happened to be the last one, and I remember Schumacher's reigning champion at the moment. So it's interesting to see how that goes. But on to the present day, BMW Sauber F1 would like to offer you the position of second driver. We're not taking that. Um, if they'd offer first driver, I would have considered it. I would actually really like to go there for next season. So but anyway, let's go. So here we go guys, having a look at the championship now, nice comfortable lead and you know what, why would I leave Honda when they're giving me such a success this season, uh, a car which is winning multiple Grand Prix now, uh, starting to get really really tuned in with their car, um, yeah overall really happy and, I, and of course we could win the Constructors this year, it's looking a bit more likely now, I'm feeling more confident, these next tracks just suit me down to a T, so I was ready for it, um, having a look through at the uh, Constructors, of course, as I did say, we're two points ahead with Renault and Ferrari tying it so close in that Constructors. We really are carrying Honda at the moment. JB just not having that season, which is a little bit gutting me. If he won the German Grand Prix last year, I was thinking, you know, maybe he might get a podium. You know, if we can, if we can get that win, which, to be honest, it's just just like Magni Corp, this is a track I really like. I was like coming into this race with with a lot of confidence. I mean. My qualifying one and qualifying two times, I never really give it the full beans. I usually use those sessions to just find where the grip is, and then Q3 is where I absolutely send it. Now, this first turn did throw me off a little bit. Not laser scans. It's a little bit different to what I'm used to, but yeah, I'm not going to lose sleep over it. Um, but yeah, it's just uh, it's just been a great, great uh, series so far. And this season's just been so good. So why would I leave Honda, potentially go to a team where... I will do second drive role. I mean, I'd be, I'd be down for going to BMW for next season. But I think I've decided I'm going to stick it out with Honda now between um, this race and the final. And then maybe we'll, we'll have a look. We, will, we won't stay at Honda for next year because I do want to move around. Because it hasn't got the best straight line speed. This car has got a great downforce package. But when it comes to straight line speed, that Honda engine just hasn't got what Renault, Ferrari, or even the McLaren Mercedes package have. So next season, I've decided to definitely do want to move around and try and find something else. But, you know, we'll have a look at BMW as well because that would be a pretty cool career to do. Maybe try something a bit different, go to a lower team and maybe help them win the Drivers' Championship. How great would that be? Or even the Constructors as well. So, you know, we've got our options for next year, which, you know, as, as uh, you guys seem to really like the series, We'll do season three, definitely. And and I want to do season four and five. But I was all doing it one at a time, just sort of seeing where we stack at the moment. As we set a 119.098. And then, of course, it comes up as a 119.099, the exact same time with Michael. I have another crack there, but I just can't get anything else out of the car. As we come across the line now, it's all looking very good, but we're just a few temps off. And I decided I'm not going to get any more. And Schumacher just improved ever so slightly, which means he starts his home race from pole position with Fissi Keller in third, Alonso fourth. Yeah, interesting qualifying that. Uh, we've got Raikkonen there so, uh, in eighth, uh, rounding up the top eight and then looking further down, all fairly standard stuff. But Martin will take you through the top eight right now. You join us for what is bound to be an action-packed German Grand Prix, coming to you from the world-famous Hockenheim circuit. The drivers like the Hockenheim circuit because it produces some great racing. Rubens Barrichello has good memories of this track because he won his first race here back in the year 2000. Unbelievably, he qualified for the race way back in 18th place. Conditions are just about perfect here today. Clear skies and perfect temperatures on and off the track. The forecast is also good and we expect it to stay like this for the whole race. Michael Schumacher will start from pole. You're next, alongside him on the front row. They're followed by Giancarlo Fisichella in third. Fourth is Fernando Alonso. Montoya takes fifth. Jensen Button completes the third row. Felipe Massa lines up seventh. Eighth is Kimi Raikkonen. 
So not a good qualifying for Felipe there. Something to point out. He's right in the thick of the title there. With Rosberg making it through into Q3. Big congratulations to him. He was very slow though. Uh, so it was quite interesting seeing how his time, you know, in a normal qualifying would have gotten, what, P17? But anyway, even so, we've got Michael Schumacher there on the left. There's always something about going up against Schumacher. And it's the German Grand Prix. Can we make it two in a row? Well, can we make it two in a row? Let's go racing! Here we go! Reasonable start. Schumacher getting off on the from the line very well. Going into that first turn now. Tyres cold. A little bit of understeer. Didn't want to get cheat and go all the way around off the circuit. And then getting loads of speed. I thought I'll tack it in. Play it fair. Breaking heavily into the next turn now. We got uh we got a well Fissy Keller having another dive bomb. He's, he's really in a mood this season, Fissy Keller. I think he just has clocked on. This is his chance to win the world championship. I'll tell you what, not playing fairly with his AI anymore after he's, he took me out in uh, the United States. Yeah, I'm an elephant, man. I don't forget these things. And as we head through into the hairpin now, I just I was so focused looking back. I just missed what was going behind. Go back around, taking that opportunity again. And we're now down into fourth place behind Giancarlo Fisichella again. Uh, and it looks like there was a little bit of collision behind with uh, David Coulthard, um, which is a little bit crazy. As we head down the inside, Giancarlo Fisichella taking back P3. Okay, here we go. We're going to war in this race. All looking reasonable right now as Michael Schumacher pits in. And Alonso just so slow out of the exit, the final turn. And I thought, you know, I do have the pace to win. We had a really, really good la last lap there. Seems like we found the race pace. The race fuel I just, just seem to get along with. We all break through heavily. A little bit of contact with Fernando, but I'm playing the AI as they play me. Which is don't be afraid to get a little bit elbows out with them. Up in to P1. As we come into the pit stop now. Uh, unfortunately as well. As you can also see on the map. Uh, it looks like Jensen's out I believe. And uh, we've also got Michael Schumacher in an awful lot of traffic. So I thought brilliant. Great opportunity for us there. Um, so if, if we get a good pit stop. And we have done the times well. Which we were setting some really good times there. I thought you know what. We have a chance of getting another win here. And making it two out of two. Um, which would be brilliant. I, you know, it's crazy to think now. If we if we'd won in the US, we would this could potentially be our fourth win in a row. Not there yet, but anyway, uh, Michael Schumacher there right behind us. In fact, he's had a horrible time since the pit stop. It's just just getting trapped behind the Midlands. I think he's just been in all sorts of traffic. So even so, that gives us the uh, temporary de facto lead. Um, but we've got to keep an eye on what uh, Fernando Alonso is doing. And we now get into the slipstream of Christian Albus in the Midlands. Going to the right-hand side there. Nice clean overtake. Breaking heavily into the hairpin. Not to lock up a, a little bit wide. But we close the door. Uh, got close, but it's okay. And then Albus. <laughs> holding up Michael for me there. Thank you very much, my friend. Greatly appreciated. Maybe Midlands want me to win the championship after they tried to sign me uh, at the beginning of the year. Uh, we've got Scott Speed ahead of us there. It's all looking pretty good. Some oil slick there. And that is Jensen Button out along with David Coulthard. Well, Fernando Alonso heads into the pits for his scheduled pit stops. This is going to be very close. We're coming up to the first turn now. It's all looking pretty rosy at the moment as we head through. Looking behind us, there is Fernando Alonso. And we are taking the lead of the German Grand Prix. And with great pace like this, uh, to be honest... So this is Magni Core again. That's it. It is an easy victory for us. As we skip through now to the end of the race, we're going to make it two out of two at the German Grand Prix. Fantastic Wunderbar. You've done it. That's a truly momentous win. You take maximum points from this Grand Prix. Alonso should hang on to finish second. It's been a captivating weekend here at Hockenheim. Plenty of action, plenty of surprises. It's been typical of the type of racing we get here. I've enjoyed it enormously, and we hope you have too. Next stop on the Formula One circus is just seven days away, with a trip to the tight and twisting Hungara ring, 19 kilometers outside of Budapest. We look forward to you joining us there for the action. See you next week. Goodbye. So there we go, guys. Another fantastic win. Fairly, fairly dominant, to be honest. Once we got through, took the lead in the pit stops there on pure pace, we... we we just walked it, walked it. It was brilliant. That is why I don't want to leave Honda when they're giving me a car which is winning. And look, an 18-point lead in this championship now. We really are starting to see the fruits of our labour come through. You know, we had a bit of a tough time early mid-season. But we have just come back so strong of late. You know, three of the far last four races we've won. Brilliant stuff there. 
Um, it's just so great. But in the constructors, I'm, you know, not looking so good right now anyway. Um, as we look through the driver's standings at least. But there we go. Constructors coming through. Renault now leading. Honda second. Ferrari third. Uh, with McLaren in fourth. It looks like it really is becoming a, a, a top three race for this championship. Um, so, yeah. Real, real shame for... Um, Jensen with engine failure, but we did bring home the win and Fissy Keller got on the podium as well there So oh, really is becoming uh, a fight between myself and Giancarlo now. Uh, this is our season But if we just keep this up Hungary is a track I love so many tracks I really like coming up which I always had a bit of speed at I'm just looking at this going we really can make the dream happen here and win the championship there we go another trophy there but up next we've got the hungarian grand prix you can see there on the right hand side at the hungaro ring can we become the hungaro kings oh that's a horrible pun from the lotus f1 team back in 2013 but that's neither here or there but there we go guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed the um this episode I, I just just so much fun at the moment and it's just been great to be competitive as well another reason i'm competitive as well which i'll finish off the videos with I, I was actually using the ps4 controller before and then i clocked on it didn't have any uh adjustment it was either full acceleration or full brake but we've got the ps3 controller and a new cable back running so that is part of the reason we're doing well but anyway i'll see you guys soon bye bye for now